Welcome back. Now, Social Development has uh, deployed over 300 social workers to KZN. The Trauma Response Task Team will provide psychosocial support to victims of the deadly floods. 448 people have so far been confirmed dead and thousands more are destitute. For more on this, uh, let's uh, speak to the Deputy Social Development Minister, Henrietta Bukhupane Zulu. Thank you very much, uh, DM, for your time here on uh, uh, All Angles. Now, uh, firstly, just explain to me a little bit more about where these 337 social workers will be heading to exactly and when their work is expected to start. The social workers, the MEC and the HOD have already dispensed to the social workers. Um, what happened is that they had to redirect the social workers from areas that are, that are not affected by the floods so that they can come and assist. So they are already here, in, 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 uh, distributed to the five uh, districts. So it's not something that's still to be done. It's already happened, and they've already been attached to communities as we speak. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, a lot of psychosocial assistance is needed, DM, in, in, in KZN at the moment. Uh, besides them assisting in terms of uh, allowing people to, uh, you know, uh, talk to them about the trauma uh, that uh, they're experiencing because of what they've seen, what else is the Social Development Department offering the people of KZN? Firstly, um, you would be aware that the social relief of distress it's also a budget line for social development, mm. which uh, talks to the issues of food, which talks to the issues of psychosocial support, which talks to the issues of children getting uniforms so they can go back to school, sanitary dignity packs for South Africans, but as well as um, the shelters, like the homes for the blind, old age homes, centers for children with disabilities, children in conflict with the law, they have a packages that we need to, but also coordinating and getting help for people who can't bury their own. I mean, you have 10 people who have passed on in one family and they never even thought that would happen. So we need to be able to ensure that the family can be assisted. Mm. Uh, and uh, DM, there was an advisory that came from the department, uh, I think last week or um, early this week, that spoke about one million rand that is going to be coming from the Chinese embassy. Um, can you explain to us if the department has decided exactly how this money is going to be used? Well, um, the million rand is already with us. We have received it. The minister received it yesterday. And um, she has indicated that it would be utilized for small businesses because you'd be aware that in the flood, women and men and young people lost their containers that they were doing either cooking or selling airtime. And then those are the people who would like to get back and, and, and restructure their businesses as they rebuild their homes. But we also want to make sure that the cooperatives that are doing uh, uniforms are given a startup because now some of them where they sue has been flooded and therefore they cannot put bread on the table. Um, what else? The other, uh, whatever will be left will be uh, utilized to support uh, entities run by disabled people and entities run by young people. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, DM, you know, just uh, your promise uh, as a department, of course, South Africans very despondent, very concerned every time there are uh, talks of donations or any money pertaining to assistance and relief in KZN. Uh, South Africans always go back to what we saw during COVID-19. Even the social development department, there were some people found wanting who were receiving the 350 rand, um, having, uh, you know, been employed in social development. So just your word and promise to South Africans at least, that, uh, you know, whatever donation comes your way will actually filter down to the people who need it. I can confirm that because I've been in the province since uh, Wednesday, immediately after the disaster. And I want to say to the private sector, we thank you very much. Uh, we made sure that whatever is donated reaches the people. And that we have ensured. Uh, wherever that we have been, we have made sure that the private sector 
uh, uh, who gave us the missions, it reaches the, the right people. But we also acknowledge that it doesn't matter how tight our systems are going to be. Uh, somehow, uh, we, we, we plead uh, in the people's hearts that can we have a conscience? Can we really not take that away from the people that are already disparate? So you, you, you now, we're talking to the hearts and minds and the souls of South Africans, especially us as politicians, us who are in the private sector, let's have conscience. Because what has happened here, it's not even a disaster. It's worse than a disaster. Mm. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us. Uh, uh, the Deputy Minister of Social Development, Henrietta Bokhopane Zulu, thank you for joining us on All Angles.